they're responsible to make sure that uh, uh, we take measure for fire prevention and control. We are also responsible to make sure to uh, inspect all public and private buildings uh, and to determine if there are hazards, if there is, we should be able to eliminate uh, that hazard through inspection. We are also to assist the Labrador National Police in terms of uh, asthma investigation. And we do a statistic of the fire outbreak as it did the cause and the report. <coughs> so today, we are here to talk about two things. We are have five days. Um, there are three ways of fire, fire before, during, and after. Before is the fire prevention activity that has to do with um, going out there to inspect the premises, uh, public and private building, to determine whether there is hazard, if there are, to be advised, and what measures to take. And after that, we also create awareness of providing education on the use of the local fire and also on housekeeping. How do you um, handle your uh, appliances in the house? Because most of us, we buy the uh, extension call because you have five or six hour level. We drop everything on that one extension call. It's like putting 10 bells of bells in your head and you know you're not able to carry it. So the, you have to be careful with the core, make sure you don't all do the, uh, the extension core, even the socket on the wall. So right now, the million challenge that we have is the electrical fire. It'd be interesting to note that uh, from January to February, we have for one fire. And 12 was class A, that is what we call combustible or common fire. Two, I mean three, uh, class B, what is uh, referred to as a physical fire, and C, electrical fire from the six. Uh, there was 11 death and two injuries. March, we had 11 fire outbreak, four class A, one class B, and six electrical. Uh, there was 51 occupant and pregnant. In April, we have seven. We have zero class A, one class B, and three uh, class C. Another three, another three to our unknowing. So today we come to let you know that uh, we will soon be launching our fire prevention awareness. Um, that way, we tell uh, jingles. We want to prepare jingles. We also want to do it in the vernacular so that our people can know that. Um, we also do um, uh, outreach in the community. We do talk show at the Saturday Sunday morning. I've been on talk show from OK to uh, Scar, and I'm here. All right? I'm going to do sticker as well. So you see people out there in the community talking to people this time around. We're not only going to focus on the public and private building, we want to go to homes. Talk to them, make sure you guys are safe with us. The fire extinguisher is a first aid tool. We want to go one step beyond to encourage our people to buy that smoke detector. So if you have a smoke detector in the room and there's fire somewhere and the smoke starts coming up, it will blow alarm to tell you that there's trouble in the house. So you will now identify that area and use your, your, your fire smoke the first aid tools. We also want to encourage people to look in the phone to, 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 to buy the fire alarm. That one will blow louder if there's fire in the, in the house or in the home. We want to also encourage our people as we start the vehicle inspection tomorrow. Please go to the fire department, get your fire extinguisher, and we say, they may kill you. And once you have that certificate on your fire extinguisher, anywhere you go, you show it, and there's no trouble. All right? Um, we want to also, the journalists will be coming to you to help us with awareness. All right? Because we want to go out there. Educate our people on, the, on how to use the fire system. I want to demonstrate that here just now. So, all of you can see that uh, the other day, somehow told me they had a suit person injecting the whole fire system and took in the fire. All right? And that is not so. The fire system is there for you to use. Right? 
So we have been having a lot of choir sessions in October, now five and one, but we, we are faced with the challenge we are fighting it. So what we want to do, I think, is to create the awareness the, the fire um, occurrence will reduce. So we're talking about that from the community. So and another thing we want to do is uh, we'll go after compliance, we have a compliance team. When we do the losses, when we do the inspection, after 21 day, we'll go back to follow up. If we refuse to comply with the report given you, we we go using the LRA, maybe the police report and lack of privacy of the compliance. So we have a group for the compliance uh, division that we go about that. So um, we want to demonstrate this more. This is the first aid tools. Now when the fire blaze, you click the roof or the city, then you go to use it. No. It's a first aid tool when you start in the corner, you use it. Now if you see here, you see the safety pin. Mm -hmm. The reason we put a pin here and tell him is that mistake made, you make mistake and press the nose, I mean, you know, the, the pickup and you, you will let go. So we put a safety pin on it. So you have a super team, all you need to do is move the safety pin, point this nozzle to the where the fire is and press this. And you hear boom, 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 boom. And you can take with the fire. Also, if you trust know that this, Fire is a multi purpose fire extinguisher. You see class A, class B, class C, three so games. You should know what the fire. So please, as we start the inspection, please get a fire extinguisher. And give the message on the use of the fire extinguisher. So also during the awareness, we want to provide more peace. So even when we're going there, uh, at the, we'll be putting out a punishment for those who want to import the fire equipment, like the fire extinguisher, the smoke detector, and fire alarm. So when we conclude that, whoever going to be selling will have an officer posted there, but when you go there, before you carry a fire extinguisher, they will educate you on how to use it. All right? And uh, point number two says we should talk about the fire at the speaker house. That fire it was serious. We got a call and we responded in 35 minutes. And so we went there, when the first responder, he saw the truck there. And what people don't understand about fire fighting is that, if you are fighting, about you force them to defeat you. So the pump on the fire truck releases pressure to pump the water to fight the fire. So in 10 minutes, if you have 1,000 gallons of water, in 10 minutes, then you discharge it. So there might be a backup. You see, the second truck came to refill that truck to control fighting the fire. All right? So today we were there, people say, oh, the children were confused, the fire were confused. Now, you got your camera, you go to cover up a story, and then the camera came up. What will you do? They get confused, right? So the guy wonder what they were calling here, and then so I will get back up to bring water. And then I will call the back up, and the guy asked me, so you see the monitor, all right? And we're able to extinguish that fire. Today, the story is there. So the fire, according to the first information, it started from a theater, from a spark that I'll call in our area. But we are digging deeper to get the teaching. Thank you. So what we're going to do, like I said,